barely 24 hours after the Lagos State Government launched the use of about 500 new minibuses to aid transportation within the city. There are no such buses in sight just yet. Now, I'm right here at the Yaba bus stop, and sources close to government have told New Central that these buses would be operationally released starting Monday of next week. On the flip side, motorcycle riders will be on the receiving end because the introduction of the minibuses aroused the government's ban on motorcycles, which will come into effect soonest. Bad our Okada now. You know, easy, you know, they easy because they are government. We don't have food to chop. We have, like me now, I have four picking for house. You understand? I didn't have another job. Except this Okada. I went to the members of Mang Allah, a Lagos government Lagos, tied to the Chemu, tied to Chemu to Mang Allah, and Chemu to now, but Bas and Sata, Bas and one of Mumina, a horse who don't come on and never have a little Yalemu. Who use Okada to feed our family? Who use Okada to manage, to raise money to do other businesses? Like they want to force it out. It's unfair. As the government commissions up to 500 minibuses to be deployed to communities as alternative transportation to quell the security threats posed by motorcyclists and avert the rising cases of accidents caused by reckless driving, for a good number of Lagos residents, this comes as a peal of good news. All, all of the jump small picking, jump elderly person. So you made a ban and well, well. We don't want them at all. Both Maru and Akoda, we don't want them at all for this Lagos state. Sherry Okada, don't want to ban you. They are going to be a lot of money. Don't forget that you pay your money. Automatically, they are going to ban your Okada. Because you don't want any problem. A common hole that can be picked in this initiative of government is that the minibuses will be unable to swiftly beat traffic and meander the inner city and hinterlands, an advantage the motorcycles provides commuters. Those buses, I think they are not enough. Okada can go into interior places, into inner, inner streets, but those buses cannot. Now you have students now. There are schools that are in a, in a road, in a street, which the Okada used to take them down to. But these buses can do. You know good, because all these people now know what they go to the chop again. Most of these Okada men, they send their picking go school. Some picking the university level. So to me, the excuse that they give that, because they're using it to rob. You know, if our government can give us enough security, so it's not only Okada that they can use to work, they can use anything. The ages of people that are supposed to be driving Okada, like all these Aboki, you have about 15, 17 year old. They are supposed to be in school. Okada business is meant for a family man who is spending for his family, who has no job. So taking those little kids off the road, you can register the Okadas, the older ones among them. You can register. So the younger ones, you ban them from driving. Anyone they see under age driving Okada, you see the Okada, that is all. As Lagos, Nigeria's second most populous city, moves to upgrade its transportation system to what's obtainable in cities like Accra, Johannesburg, Pretoria and Nairobi, one thing is clear. The complete ban on motorcycles in the city would deal a heavy economic blow on the city as over 400,000 young men would be temporarily put out of jobs. Mary Chinda reporting for New Central TV.